can I do better in a particular thing than I did before? Behold, coconut butter in a scrub with a bottle and whooping my hand like I'm going 21 rounds with Mike Tyson just to get the last of this out the bottle. Oh. Hey guys, just here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am doing a coconut scented hygiene shower routine. For those of you that are already a part of the family, I'd like to thank you very much. However, if you are not, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell as well. So without further ado, I will not hold you any longer. So we are starting here with the line up in the shower. And you already know we're starting with Summer's Eve, the nighttime wash. So I decided to have a little bit fun with this one. And I did not realize until after I had did this routine that this is actually an update of the coconut scented routine from when I did this last year. So, you know, whenever you want to get better, I call this outdoing myself. Can I do better? Can I do better in a particular thing than I did before? So this is always a challenge for me doing these type of videos, doing these type of routines, just even down to the reviews. I mean, you guys don't even know the half of it. This is absolutely an awesome way for me to get better at just to get better overall as a woman as a person yeah i'm that was totally not planned but um anywho <laughs> for me to mention any of that but i surely do hope that helps someone so I'm over there. It looks like I'm pointing to my lineup of products, but really essentially what you guys can't see is the shower stream of water is what I'm pointing to. I'm always getting into those arms and the underarms whenever I shower. And I just want doing it to just give you guys a little glimpse of that. If you haven't noticed, I'm just incorporating that a little bit more and having fun with each one of these themed shower routines after just one scent based on one scent I was like you know what I might as well have fun <laughs> so I noticed that you guys have been liking these a lot so I'm going to keep these coming in the midst of everything else that I do so I'm following up with cocoa butter and I will explain a little bit later on as to why I use that instead of a coconut scented body lotion because I did not have just a solely coconut based body lotion or body cream only thing remotely close but I purposely didn't include was because that OGX coconut coffee body cream I don't want to hint a coffee in this if this is just coconut scented only so that is why I did it and I included this, although I don't show it all the time, I do it. And I am dressed. So, I will see you guys in the next segment. Let's talk about smelling like coconut. This is an update, actually. I didn't think about this until after I had going through the routine that this is an update of my coconut scented hygiene shower routine from last year i started off with soft soaps coconut butter scrub before i learned about the dove brown sugar and coconut butter that scrub i didn't know there was such thing as coconut butter i would often by mistake call it cocoa butter but behold coconut butter in a scrub this isn't really tree hut quality type of a scrub it has the level of scrub particles in it just like ogx's coconut coffee scrub and wash 
You will feel the scrub granules, but you will not get a tree hut type of quality type of scrub. You will get that light scrub, but it, it's not going to completely exfoliate that dead layer off the top of your skin. This is just a very light type of scrub. The particles are spread throughout very lightly. It doesn't have so much of the scrub particles until you can't get the experience of the body wash itself. It does smell a little acidic. I'm not entirely sure at this moment and I'll put it on the screen if coconut is a acidic type of fruit in itself, but it smells acidic. It doesn't exactly smell sweet all the way through. So you will get that kind of acidic type of smell where, where it kind of may smell a tinge bit sour, but the coconut smell itself will overpower that a little bit more, but it's there. This was really luxurious to use. I have used this before, just not in a good couple of months. So this is my first time using it since then. It's probably been close to a year since I've last used this coconut butter scrub. This does come in a pump bottle. So it's a little bit bigger than this, but with a pump instead of a squeeze top. Thumbs up if you like the squeeze top over the pump. Because with me, I don't feel like going 21 rounds with a bottle and whooping my hand like I'm going 21 rounds with Mike Tyson just to get the last of this out the bottle. However, I, I shall run water in it in order to get the rest of the product out. That's just me. Thumbs up if you you that person too. You can every last drop out of the bottle. Because I know I am. That's how you get your money's work, okay? Okay. So I started off with this, very smooth on the skin. You will barely feel the scrub particles, but they're there. So next, since I did not have just strictly a coconut scented body cream or lotion, I went in with, you guessed that right, Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. I use that to complement the scent of body wash that I start with. I did have something remotely coconut scented, like my coconut coffee body cream from OGX. But because I know it has that underlying scent of coffee, just a hint of it there, I didn't want that to throw off this coconut scented routine. No, just strictly coconut. That's all. I figured the best thing to complement it is cocoa butter. And then that would also seal in the body wash that I've used and prepare me for the next step, which is, and I forgot I had this. I bought this from City Trends. Fun fact, they have loads of Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works fragrance dupes, fragrance copies. Even some of the packaging is eerily similar to the prior Victoria's Secret, the prior Bath and Body Works packaging before they both upgraded their packaging. So this is Coconut Bliss by Secret Desire. And one thing I was just looking at here as expiration date of October, 2022, next year, I thought it had been expired and I forgot I had it. Coconut Bliss. So it smells like coconut, but it just has a sweetness about it. So it smells like coconut, but it smells sweeter. So that helps balances out that soft soap coconut butter scrub that I used. Now, only thing is once you start spraying this because of the formula, it will make you cha sneeze in a heartbeat because don't forget fragrance mists are alcohol based. This one is a little bit different of a grade than Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works type of fragrance mist. The grade of alcohol, the grade of the quality is different. The fact that I bought this and it expires next year, which means it probably has a two year shelf life. Still smells great as the first day when I used it. That definitely speaks to the quality. So that lets you know you could get a good dupe, especially with uh, how they like to change formulas of the scents. Hint, hint, you know who I'm talking about. Okay, yeah. I followed up with that smelling like coconut and the cocoa butter, Palmer's cocoa butter acts as a insulated layer in between the body wash and the fragrance. 
that seals in everything. When I completed this routine, I was ready to go to the beach by the time I was done with this routine. Okay. Yes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my coconut scented hygiene shower routine. This is an update. And until next time and until the next video. Thank you.